Okay, welcome everyone. Today we're here to go over the monitoring plan development. I want to welcome each of you. We will look at developing a monitoring plan and the importance of development of a monitoring plan. A little bit about myself before we get started. My name is Marla Helley and I have been in clinical research for 25 years now. I enjoy training because I too have worked as a CRA and also a project manager, so responsible for the creation of the clinical monitoring plan for both a pharmaceutical study or a medical device trial. I am certified through ACRP as a certified clinical research professional. In today's module, we're going to identify the contents of a monitoring plan, including the affiliated monitoring procedural documents, also looking at a monitoring plan that will help us look at the unique needs for the project and the protocol. We're going to determine triggers for revising our monitoring plan and also talk about the importance of having version control of our document. We also are going to explain the FDA's recommendation for risk-based monitoring plans and we're going to describe the relationship of the monitoring plan to the CRA and his or her performance in managing the investigative site and also ensuring that we meet the goals and continue with process improvement for managing clinical trials. So you received three handouts from me and you should have copies of those. If you have a copy of your handout in front of you or are able to access it during the course, give me a green check. We're going to look at these, and if you don't have them right in front of you, I will be pulling them up. So right here, I do have them, and we'll mark where the reference will be when these are being discussed during the session. Okay, so before we get started, let's take a moment and have you chat your thoughts on why we have clinical trials being monitored. So let's just take a moment and chat why trials are monitored and what should the focus be when we are monitoring. So I'm just waiting to hear your thoughts on monitoring. Great, excellent, it's coming through. So I see to ensure compliance with the clinical investigation, subject safety, accountability of our investigational product and control, looking at good quality data, safety of our subject, looking at the concept of ALCOA in our documentation, so ensuring that we have good documentation. We also have someone responding to monitor the participant's health and safety and efficacy of the treatment during the trial. You're right, we are focusing on ensuring our subject's safety because that is the most important thing. We want to ensure that the investigator is protecting the rights and welfare of the subjects that are enrolled in the trial. And we are also looking at the integrity of our data. So ensuring that there is good documentation, as you mentioned, also looking to ensure that the integrity is being followed by making sure that the protocol is being followed, ensuring also that the investigational product is also being maintained. So we really want to focus on subject safety and then also our integrity of our trial. Let's also chat, what do you think the cost of having poor monitoring or poor site performance can do to the outcome of our clinical development or our clinical trial. And also, too, have you ever spent time trying to help solve or prevent problems in clinical, the trials that you've managed? So endanger the subject, results not accepted by the regulatory authority. Yes, that's where we can have the cost of poor performance, absolutely. And also, too, when you think about it, also looking at the rework that we may have to do, we become frustrated because processes weren't followed. We could have a warning letter 
added cost, like you said, because the study is being extended. The regulatory authorities don't accept our submission because we didn't have good oversight. Also, too, if we are, say, a vendor working for a sponsor and we did not do our job, we may have jeopardized our trust. Or if we're a sponsor and we didn't do our job, we've also jeopardized the trust of individuals within our organization as well as maybe even, say, individuals that have an interest in our company, such as our stockholders. So this can have a negative outcome 